years of possession with intent to supply this man. And this guy who is already been to prison for selling jobs to people, for supplying class A jobs, he was given a community service. He was paid, he was paid so that he would be able to come into this court and tell lies on anybody that he saw fit. We came there believing that the police were playing the witnesses. But what we found out is that the witnesses are playing the police. The police are so desperate for a conviction that they're dealing with the most downtrodden, despicable, sickening scum from out of our community. They're dealing with the lowest of the low so that they can get a conviction will not be satisfactory, will not be safe, and will not last. So we're here today, even though there's no few of us, to let them know quality, that quality. even though the media isn't reporting on this case, even though it's easier for us to find out what is happening in the case of Pistorius in South Africa, we're here to let them know that we do not forget, we will not forget, and we will not leave Nicky Jacobs to this so-called justice Circus, system. Man. Yes. Nicky Jacobs! Nicky Jacobs! Nicky Jacobs! Innocent! 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 How do we know that Nicky Jacobs is innocent? Because the person who is in the dock today, or was in the dock last week, phoned me. He phoned me last year and said, Stuff, I said some crap about Nicky in the 80s. It wasn't true. I just said what I had to say to get out of the police station, and now they're trying to force me to tell lies. He said, Stuff, I didn't see Nicky do anything. I didn't see anything. They're pressurizing me to tell lies. But he said that, and then I made him phone Nicky's solicitors. And Nicky's solicitors recorded him, saying, I don't want to be here. It isn't true. They're forcing me to tell lies. And at the point that the recording came out in the court last week, they kicked us out of the public gallery. They cleared out the media. They cleared out the jury. And they argued for days because they don't want the recording to be played. They don't want the truth to be told in this court. They don't want the world to know how low they have gone. They don't want the truth state to know the world to know that the state isn't just scraping the bottom of the barrel. It's turned the barrel on top. It's turned the barrel upside down and it's starting to scrape on the bottom all over again. We need to stop this. Nicky Jacobs. Innocent. 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 No justice. No peace. No justice, 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 no peace. When we was outside this court 27 years ago, the original murder trials, road was blocked off with police, roofs was banned with armed police. Everywhere you look, there was police. They made it into the biggest case in the land. And guess what? We gave them another bloody good hide. In the eyes of the public, in the eyes of the world, in front of the media of the world, we defended Mark Braithwaite, Endin Ragged, Winston Silco, the Tottenham Three, and the Tottenham Three were released. So now they come back. Now they want to crawl into the court. Now they want to sneak into the court. 
Now they don't want no journalists telling you what's going on in the court because they want to put this to the jury. They want to put it in front of a jury when a judge knows he should be dismissing this case. Hmm. Yeah. They want to put it in front of a jury so that they can blame the jury for getting it wrong. And how do we know this? Because the copper who, who led this case, Detective Chief Superintendent Sweeney, who has been on this case for the last 10 years, was offered the Queen's Award, some police medal for forgery, in the New Year's Honours list. So we know that they know that they're not going to win because they gave the rewards for bringing the case to court before the case was even heard. Yeah, yeah. It is a waste of public money. It is a disgrace when it comes to the police that they could take 10 years and they could bring in a case where it's clear that all of the witnesses are liars. And let me tell you how we know all the witnesses are liars. Because Rose Levin, who was in this court last week, He's the one who told the police who was good enough to be a witness as well. So he's told the police that the other witness, John Brown, shouldn't be a suspect, he should be a witness, because they were mates. But John Brown got four years and four months for a fray. So how does he become a witness when he participated in the very riot that led to the death of this police officer? And let's remember what John Brown said. John Brown admitted that he lied and he lied and he lied. John Brown admitted that he told the police officers people's names because he didn't like the people. But most importantly, John Brown admitted that as a white man, who of course isn't a racist, he cannot tell the difference between one black face and another. Yet he's in this court saying that one black person killed P.C. Blakelock. This case is a farce. This case is a travesty. And this case doesn't end here. When we get Nicky and we get him back, not only will we be suing the police for conspiracy, but we'll be looking at how we can prove the conspiracy that the state has run from day one. From the day when Barbara Mills defended Weeks and Silver without providing a defence, to the time when she becomes head of the DPP and significantly fails to prosecute the three officers, the two officers, DCS Melvin and DC Dingle, who framed Winston Silcott. We are now in this perverse situation where we have people locked up for a murder of a police officer. Those people are freed because we prove it through using ESNA, absolute scientific evidence, and yet no police officer has properly been brought to account or been properly made to answer for why and how Winston Silcott was framed and fitted up and sent to prison for 30 years for a crime that he did not commit. So at the same time that we have no officers answering for how this could happen, we have officers smuggling Nicky Jacobs into this court and hoping that we're all asleep and hoping that the jury is as dumb and as crazy and as easy to, com to confuse as was the jury in the Mark Duggan inquest. The hope is that they can get another perverse decision in this court. But the most perverse decision that we've seen and that the state will have to answer to at some point is why the hell is this court case on in the first place? Yes. Why the hell are we wasting seven weeks? Yes. Unlike the Nicky Jacobs inquest, we can see the faces of the jurors. Yes. Unlike the Nicky Jacobs, unlike the Mark Duggan inquest, we can see the faces of the jurors and we can see the shock on their faces that they're here. We can see that the jurors are shocked that the police expect anyone to believe any of these witnesses. Tomorrow, we'll see the last witness brought into this case. This witness has not been given immunity for prosecution. This witness has not been paid £5,000. And the reason why is because this witness wasn't 
actually did. This witness is the cousin of the first witness. This witness was nowhere to be seen for 15 years. It's only at the point when the first witness is told that two witnesses, if they know they need two witnesses, lo and behold, his bloody cousin turns up. And his cousin is going to tell them that he is like Superman. Because he is going to say that he was in a building that was hundreds of yards away from where the murder took place. And he's going to say that he could see through concrete around corners and see in the dark. This case is an absolute farce and travesty. It's a farce and travesty of which I believe there's been no, there's no comparison in this court. It is a disgrace and a shame and a taint on the name of the Old Bailey that they would waste public money and public time allowing this to go on. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? No! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? No! No justice!